Hey guys, today I'm going to be ranking the discography of Watain, one of my favourite bands. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Um, f four of their albums, their first four albums, are all in one thing for me because I got this season of Missed Issue, so I'm going to have to kind of do it slightly different. So, um, I also want to just show this uh, Outlaw promo single I got really cheap. I just thought that that was kind of cool, something not loads of people will have. And um, the Nuclear Alchemy single, which I reviewed, the 7 inch limited to a thousand, I believe. So, um, my least favourite personally, although I love all of Watain's stuff, I'm part of the Disciple group, I'm number 1561, so that's cool. Obviously, I have this with the Fuck the World 13, or FTW, should I say, but that's what it is. Um, my least favourite would have to be, funnily enough, um, Casus Luciferi. I just that album, I really love it. I really love all their stuff. It's just other stuff for me is much cooler. Um, and then next up, I will go with Sworn to the Dark. Uh, it's really catchy, but um, as again, there's just things that I have to say I like more. Uh, Rabid Death's Curse is... Oh, sorry, actually. Uh, the Wild Hunt then would be sort of in the middle for me. I've got this nice digi book. I really like... I really like all their stuff, it's hard to place it, it's, this is much, it's got um, a definite kind of inspiration from bands like Bathory and Hellhammer, it's really cool. Then in third place it would be Rabid Death's Curse, their debut release from the year 2000. Um, this song on Horns Impaled is one of my favourite Watain songs, it's such a kind of crushingly raw, but in a way well produced release for a kind of debut black metal release. Then, um, in the second place, the album that got me into them back when it came out in 2010, Lawless Darkness. I absolutely adore that album. I've played it to death, and up until very recently, it was my favourite. Sorry, I've actually forgotten to grab my favourite. But my number one has to be Trident Wolf Eclipse. It's I play it all the time. Nuclear Alchemy is one of my favourite songs of all time. I just, I absolutely, like, I really just can't get enough of this release. I have the cool folded uh, version. Um, excuse me a second. So these are really hard to kind of hold it all in one go. But yeah, it's really nice. Like, I just have really played this album to the death. I absolutely love it. So yeah, um, this video kind of has been quite quick because of the way these are laid out. But yeah, from bottom to top, once again, I would go Casus Luciferi, Sworn to the Dark, The Wild Hunt, um, Rabid Death's Curse, Lawless Darkness, and then Trident Wolf Eclipse. I'm also going to be doing one of these, which is probably also going to be really short um, due to the similar thing with Mayhem. So I'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day, just because then I've got everything. Uh, I've got everything done that I want to do. I've got, what have I got coming in the post? I've got one of Memoriam's 7 inch demos, so I'll have all three of them and then both their albums, but that's more to complete the set. I've got the first Uncoffined album, which I'm looking forward to getting, really cool doom metal band. And I have something else. Oh, um, Horse Latitude's album Gather The Gathering, which is really cool, um, drone doom metal from Finland. So I'm going to wait until I get some more stuff to do a ranking other than the Mayhem one, but I'm sure there'll be things to talk about. Cheers for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video despite being quite short, so leave a like if you did. Let me know your ranking on the Great Watain stuff. Um, and, you know, check them the hell out. They're one of the best black metal bands going. Stay metal, guys. Cheers for watching.